Now I'm going to go to Snip and Sketch and show you how that works. Again, I'm going to search for the word Snip. Just type in Snip into the Cortana search box. This time, you'll see that I have apps, and one of the apps is Snip and Sketch. So if I click the little triangle over to the right, there's Snip and Sketch. Now, if I'd like to create a shortcut to Snip and Sketch, I'll just right click on the icon here and choose Pin to Taskbar. It then appears on my taskbar and I can drag it wherever I'd like it to go. So I'd like it right here and that's where I'll place it and use it in the future. That brings it up and I can click New or as you can see, if I hover over the New button, I can also do Control N to bring up a new snip. And now I can trace over any screen that I'd like. I don't really want to do a screenshot of this, so I'll click X if I want to cancel the screenshot right here. This, this is the screen that I'd like to do a screenshot of. So with Snip and Sketch open, I can do Control N or New. Also, if you click on this little drop down menu, you have the option to snip in three seconds, a delayed snip. I could also delay it for 10 seconds. But if I just want to snip it now, I can click Snip Now, and you get this little floating toolbar right here at the top. What these buttons mean are I have a freeform snip if I'd like. There's also window snip, where it only does the contents of the window that you have on top. And then there's the full screen snip, which would allow you to do the entire screen, toolbars and all, top toolbar as well as the bottom toolbar, the clock, everything. But I don't really need to show that either. So I'm going to go back to my original choice, which was rectangular snip. And now I get the plus sign or crosshairs, and I'll just drag across it like that and try to make a perfect square if possible. Let go. And there I now have a more square shaped snip or screenshot. If I click this little floppy disk icon or do control S, I can save it. And there's a three dotted button here, the vertical ellipses, and I can print it, open it with another program, or a screenshot that I've created in the past can be opened here with this option. I can zoom in if I'd like to by clicking this little spyglass with a plus sign. But I'd like to go back to view the actual size by clicking here. I can do a little markup with the highlighters. I have a ballpoint pen a pencil, a highlighter, and an eraser. There's also a ruler, and I can crop the image. If I don't like exactly the way it turned out, I can just click that button. I don't want the little black corner showing here, so I could move that in and fix this. And then when I'm done highlighting, I can apply that crop by clicking the little check mark or pressing enter on the keyboard. And now I have a perfectly cut out screenshot. This could also, instead of being saved, it could also be copied, pressing this button. Now I can go back and right click paste or control V and paste it right into that document and resize it to whatever I'd like. If you'd like an edge or a border around your screenshot, I like doing this border weight and I'll just choose one point and it adds a nice little dark border around it so it doesn't appear to be floating in midair. So those are some of the features of Snip and Sketch, a bit more powerful tool than what you have with the snipping tool. Thanks for joining me.